Hey everyone, I'm back from Denver and I just gotta say thank you guys first off all the new subscribers that I have everyone who's been commenting on my videos it's been a real treat to come home and see all the interest that I've piqued on my YouTube channel and how interested you guys are in all the stuff I'm doing so just just right off I gotta say thank you for that thank you for commenting and just leaving me awesome comments so I know what kind of videos to do and I know what you guys are following along with and what you're really enjoying so tomorrow I actually plan on in the next couple days so it's a little bit of a tease to go over some of the stuff I bought in Denver what I did and a lot of it is actually going to pertain to things that you guys can buy and use yourselves so keep in tune for that we're going to go over that later um one of my little things I want to share oh we'll start here sorry I don't know what my husband did with the wrapper this is like a paleo cookie thing it's a boulder cookie I think these are just from Denver they're all right they're not fantastic but it is a keto cookie but I think this is like two to three hundred calories for this entire thing uh, but Corbin's eating it so it must not be that bad and I've got some other product things I'm going to go over with you but the one I want to share with you today because I'm prepping for my week I'm trying to get ready for back to keto back to what I'm doing and um, at my aunt's um, I just ate what was kind of there but I made good choices so she had made this for us sorry this my battery's kind of dying hope you guys can see that it says cheat and wheat and so this is gluten free um, it's not exactly keto but it's got 22 grams of carbs which is fairly low for a muffin for a lot of the carb things I found and 90 calories but the thing is I added two well with my aunt she added two things of zucchini to this so it makes it a lot bulkier and this calls for applesauce but instead we added a cup and a fourth cup of um, well I did cottage cheese and some yogurt so I just added a lot more protein into it so um, actually with apple, the applesauce that it requires this is probably not 22 grams at all it's probably closer to 10 and because I added the zucchini in there sorry my nose just did a weird thing um, it should be even lighter on the carb side so this isn't exactly keto but these tasted so good I want to try and figure out how to make a really good keto version of my own so stay tuned for that I'm gonna work on it but I want to share this with you guys oh so this company is out of Denver but you can find them online and order them I guess that's what my aunt said and that's what she does but I did get this at Whole Foods so you can try and check there first and see if you can find it um, it was literally like over in the gluten-free mixes but this tastes fantastic if you have kids it'll be great so I'm going to show you I prefer to make little mini muffins so you can see it's about the size of my finger so this made a ton of them I got maybe 30 some muffins and they're family approved Corbin's already had like three or four now they're really soft and moist that's what I love about these is that they fall apart they're so soft and you can hopefully you guys can see the zucchini in there a little bit I just grated mine all up so I don't really care if the skin shows or not and I think it's just extra fiber so I didn't peel it because my family's not gonna care but if you have kids or something and that greens gonna throw them off just peel off the skin a little bit and I put about a fourth cup of chocolate chips so not very many and um, I was gonna do carob but I wasn't sure if everyone would eat that but these are really really good and with the cottage cheese I added just like 13 grams of protein to these through the entire batch obviously not in one muffin but these are really good they're really moist and they're not that sweet um, because there's only 10 grams of sugar in them so that's really not too bad which again because I did all the zucchini and everything it's probably more like five per muffin or so so that's kind of what I've got out of this so I prepped these made them all up I have a whole batch of them I guess I can kind of show you here 
So you check that out. So that's going to be breakfast for the next couple days for everyone if they want them. And there's just a couple eggs in that. So these are a really super awesome recipe. I'm really excited about these. But yes, I want to try to make them keto. And just getting home, I ran and got a couple groceries. But I plan to show you guys more stuff tomorrow. So thank you again. If you're watching this for the first time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will have a lot more videos coming to you in the next couple days. All right, guys.